Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Stories Read Aloud. My name's Beck, and today I've got one of my favourite little golden books to read to you. It's called The Little Red Caboose. The Little Red Caboose Always Came Last. First came the big black engine, puffing and chuffing. Then came the box cars. Then the oil cars. Then the coal cars. Then the flat cars. Sometimes they were switched around in different ways, but the little red caboose always came last. Boys and girls waved at the big black engine. They listened to the box cars and the oil cars, and the coal cars and the flat cars go clickety clack. But by the time the little red caboose came along, the boys and girls were turning away because the little red caboose always came last. Oh smoke, said the little red caboose. I wish I were a flat car or a coal car or an oil car, or a box car, so the boys and girls would wave at me. How I wish I were a big black engine, puffing and chuffing way up at the front of the train. But I'm just a little old red caboose. Nobody cares for me. One day, the train started up a mountain. Up went the big black engine. Up went the box cars. Up went the oil cars. Up went the coal cars. Up went the flat cars. Up went the little red caboose. Hang on tight, little caboose, called the flat car. This is a long, tall mountain, and you are the last car on the train. Don't I know it, sighed the little red caboose. Poor me. The train went slower and slower and slower. Soon it was hardly moving. It looked as if that train could not get up the mountain. Look out, little caboose, called the flat car. The train is starting to slip back down this long, tall mountain. Not if I can help it said the little red caboose, and he slammed on his brakes, and he held tight to the tracks, and he kept that train from sliding down the mountain. Then bump! The little red caboose felt something push him from behind. It was two big black engines. They pushed the train up to the top of the mountain. We couldn't have done it, said the big black engines, if it had not been for the little red caboose. Everyone cheered, and the little red caboose nearly burst with pride. Now the children wave at the big black engine and at all the cars. But they save their biggest waves for the little red caboose, because the little red caboose saved the train. And that's the end of our story. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other books read aloud. Have a great day.